The date function in Excel does its really helpful little thing where it allows you to make a date as long as you provide it a month, a day, and a year. So anytime that you are trying to come up with a date based on various factors, it's nice to be able to just inject those number values directly into the date function and create the date that you're looking for. In this example, we have this weird column here where somebody decided to write the month, then a slash, and then two days separated by a dash, and then a year. And what you want to do is you want to take the 9 or the 7 or the 10 from the beginning of this date, and you want to be able to say, okay, if I'm going to schedule an interview for September of 2025, I need to back up to the uh, August month, the eighth month uh, of 2025, and schedule it during that time period. And so you can see here that what I've done is taken a function called text before, and I've said get the text before the first slash which is of course the nine here. And then here I went with text after, where I said find the text after the slash, but I had to put in a two here. Um, this is the second slash in the data set. So with that information, that the month that they're looking for the interview is going to be uh, the ninth month, and the year is going to be 2025, I can go to cell I6 right here, go to my formulas tab at the top of the screen, click the date and time drop down menu, and find the very first function on this drop down, the date function. And you see here it's asking for the year, the month, the day. So the year is very simple. I click here on 2025. The month is less simple. So the idea here is if you tell me that the review is for the ninth month, you want to actually schedule it during the eighth month. So I will click on the month right there, cell G6, and then do a little minus one. And then finally for the day, since you know this is a weird amorphous date range, we'll just put in the first. And then when we click OK, you can see there that it's now August 1st of 2025. And so we've been able to construct a date from the pieces in weird situations.